<clears throat> Hi, my name is Thomas Robinson. I'm a junior at Lee High School, and I'm going to talk about why my book was banned since Ban Book Week just passed by. My Ban Book is Friday Night Lights by H.G. Bazinger. It was banned in Vermont, Texas, school year since 2009. This book was banned for numerous reasons. First of all, the book was, has been known for the use of profanity, sexual situations, and racism. At the end, of, at the school and wider community. The main cause of the book being banned is the many racial issues that are very known in the society. In Friday Night Lights, this leads to discrimination that is clearly shown in the book through racial slurs and other demeaning actions. The entire town was racially divided despite the book taking place in 1988. In the book, it said, and I quote, Odessa's values were old fashioned as well when it came to race, still rooted in the days when the line between white and black was bluntly defined by the American version of the Berlin Wall, the railroad tracks that ran through the heart of the town. <clears throat> These are other small, there are other small reasons why the book is banned, but they are overshadowed by the racism issue. There were some times when players would swear at each other during a couple football games. This was affected to some people in Beaumont, Texas. They complained that Friday Night Lights was inappropriate for children, and I don't get why they'd even allow their children to read this type of book if they didn't want them to. When Friday Night Lights was written in 1990, racism was still an issue in society, but there were steps to take an end to it. Odessa, Texas, the town in Friday Night Lights was incredibly behind the rest of the country when it comes to equal rights. These racial problems influenced the writing of the book. And people don't want to hear about that in a book, when to, the main focus is to get rid of racism. I think that Friday Night Lights shouldn't be banned because it teaches the reader to overcome challenging things in life and prepare them for the future. It is reasonable that it may be, be challenged in certain circumstances, but it should not have been taken as far as banning it completely. It is easy to see why children need to be shielded from some parts of the novel, but for older kids, they'd be okay. I know it talks about sex and racism, but these things are present in life itself. It doesn't help to shield kids from reality. It helps educate them so they can deal with life's challenges. I don't think it is right to ban a book for everybody just because one person thinks it's offensive. Whether or not a child should read this book should come down to the parents' decision. But eventually, I think people need to be exposed to the reality of the world and not, not try to hide from it. To be honest, all books could have something in it that could be challenged or banned. I think in some cases, banning or changing your book is not easily justified. People shouldn't be shielded from very important information, and that's why I think the book shouldn't be banned.